we would like to invite you in our relationship, um, in a relationship between a disabled and a non-disabled person. We would like to show that um, this is a relationship of exploration and of joy and a very interesting sexual relationship as well. It can be mind-changing. If you have certain um, preconceptions of emotionality or maybe of disability, then you should dare to watch the movie and maybe have your mind changed. For me it's a film which makes makes people realise that if they feel lonely, you realise just how many people feel lonely in a problem. And it's a problem that so many people don't talk about, which is intimacy and how you feel about your body and the fears you have. And so in watching the film, you just realise that there are so many different ways of feeling and living it and that, that everything's OK. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's part of life. Why haven't you ever asked me what is this film about? And why haven't I ever told you anyway? I think Adina brought us uh, masterfully to the limits of our comfort zone and to be honest and to meet our own shadows. And I think the film is an invitation to, for you, the spectator, to go there with us in yourself to meet, to go into these places, which can be not always so comfortable, but uh, for sure very interesting. I always be um, uh, ready to show everything I do with my body and with my clients, because it's my profession. But uh, the point in this uh, film is that I never had a female client before, <laughs> and so I really was in, uh, stumbled in the dark what to do with her and with her special problem. Yeah? And there was very much of improvising, and this was the interesting part of uh, my... I had to improvise, and this, uh, I lo almost lost my professionality in, this, uh, in the set. <laughs> <laughs> We are noticing now, as we travel with the film, that um, it triggers very powerful emotional uh, reactions in, in people. And uh, these reactions are often difficult to put into words. And um, I had th this discussion with a psychoanalyst uh, back in Romania, who's all, who was also the consultant of the film. And after she watched the film, uh, she's, she's a um, psychoanalyst with like 40 years of experience. And uh, she was mentioning that uh, uh, this film basically it's entering into a sort of a dialogue with the limbic system with that part of the brain which which is responsible for emotions and which gets formed very early in uh, in uh, in childhood even before you have words before you have memories so I mean of course I'm, I'm not a specialist in that but I noticed how people get get triggered in many ways sometimes in very unexpected ways so I think that's why it's, it's kind of interesting to, to come to the film with a sort of openness uh, to see how you can relate with the experience. Because it's an experience, I think it's more than a film. I think it's a very specific bodily and emotional experience. <laughs>